All right, y'all. Welcome, Amp Capo, Black Adonis Games. Uh, working on the lesser guy. Y'all getting to see some uh, sneak peek here. Um, but as you can see, um, I'm working in the uh, Amplify Animation Pack. Uh, it's available on the marketplace. Um, this came with a controller that was a bonus. Um, there were some issues with uh, getting it to the UE4 character. It was the one of the main uh, gripes of everybody that was getting uh the kit even though the author was very very forward in letting people know that the controller was just to let you see how the animations looked in action so there was a blessing that they even did that but it turns out that this controller is just so fly that everybody wants the controller so um i wanted the controller as well i want to implement it into my uh game anyway if you look here the characters is a uh, the character is in a stance that is not good for my character this is not how i want my character to stand so let's go dive in and what we're going to do is um i'm going to play the video so you can see what i'm talking about so there we go just doesn't look good um just not feeling it you know all this looks awesome like all that stuff looks good the pushing and everything but the running and uh, just look at that it just doesn't look good the legs are very wide all the time and it just doesn't look good and i'm still working on the run and stuff because i still not the biggest fan of the of the speed run but i can work with it i think i can make it into what i want now that i'm learning things so anyway let's stop the video um enough of that let's get into what's out now so let's come in here and now I have the character here and if you look already even without pressing play her legs are way more together you go ahead and press play and if you look the character's legs are uh, together here um, when she runs when she's in combat they go wider which is what I want she should have a wider stance in combat and I'm going to work on those animations as well but truth of the matter is now when she runs even in her sprint her legs are closer together and when she stops it looks a lot more natural so um i'm going to show you guys how i did that um also i'll probably have another video i did achieve getting ik on the character so i'll show people how and what settings i had to do for the power ik uh, which is also a free plug-in on the marketplace um, that that looks really good so I got that to work and <laughs> I keep forgetting that my audio in here is not looped so it just stops all of a sudden um, which is cool because I'm recording anyway um, I had to put in some work to get uh, her to be able to grab on in the right places and also for everything to function uh, properly so if you see here she's uh, you know grabbing on and there's still a little bit of buggery to it and I think it just has to do with the uh, it has to do with the ground as a matter of fact let me go into it while I got y'all on here because see this is just how I do it the, these pieces here have to be almost perfect so like literally the math is almost there's like no hardly any variance so if they're even a slight bit see now it works fine so if the math is even a slight bit off it just messes everything up so you got to get it in that range so now it's working fine okay and so you can see that the ik and everything else all works i can drop it down boom look our ik kicks in so everything works it looks pretty good it looks pretty damn good so far so i'm going to show you guys what i did here what i did was we're going to go ahead and go into the uh blueprint for the animations on the character so we'll go here to the character we'll get to the mesh for anybody that's a newbie 
we'll go here to the character animation blueprint we'll go to the little hourglass and browse to the asset shrink our window down here that was an f11 command to maximize minimize the window there and what we're going to do is we are going to go to the blueprint for the character here and then we'll just open it and that will give us the window that we're in here um, I'll go over the power uh, IK uh, ground node in another video that's a whole different ball game um, a lot of collision t to deal with in that uh, tutorial so I'll go over that but um, for this video we're going to go to the full body state and we're going to go straight here to the center to the locomotion and we got movement states here so for the idle if we go in we'll see here that I have a what I got here labeled as an idle thigh adjustments this is just her thighs so that her stance is not so wide so what I did was I created two variables here they're rotators and you get those by just going to your variable click and create variable and you can see I created one here before and you just want to make sure that you click this and call it a rotator okay and I need to delete these because um, tutorials are costing me uh, to have all these little loose ends in my project. I want to make a tutorial version of the project, I guess. Um, so here we go. Boom. What I did was I made a, f made, a, made a few because of different animations or different instances that I wanted to change in a different way. So the thigh rotations, if you look here, they're on the Y axis. So anything you want to change on the Y axis, like the arms or the thighs or the clavicles or whatever, uh, bones are the ones that control that Y axis to have a wider or more narrow stance. And if you go here and you see, these are basically local to component. You basically get those by dragging off of your animation or you could just right click right click but drag off your animation and just type in local to component or just type component start typing component and you will see local to component down here you click on that you'll get this node you come off this node and if you look here it says transform modify bone same thing you come over here type in transform modify bone you click on that you'll get this node so now you go in this node you select the bone you want and I select thigh right and thigh left for this node okay so once you connect them you will get the automatically get <coughs> excuse me guys it's very dusty out here where I'm at I'm having a dust storm so my bad y'all might catch a couple sneezes um anyway the uh I found out and when making the like these are the settle rotation left and right that is for when the animations it basically is the bridge between your animation and it settling back into the idle so these are set at a different uh the uh, Y axis is set different than in when when the character is running and doing things like that. So this is set at negative 10 for the left and positive 10 here for the right. So that you see the Y axis is positive 10 here and negative 10 here on the left side. And that remains the same throughout. So, you know, I also have this one, which is thigh left and thigh right. And you can see there are three and negative three for the left and these are for when the character is running and moving I don't need the stance to be corrected as much okay so on um, the stance is the widest then but I can show you how it works here so let's go ahead and go into this since these are the idle thigh adjustments we can just see it in action here if I change this from negative 10 to 0 watch the leg here okay because this is the left leg so watch the left leg here it's going to move back to its original place boom see that and if i do it for the right 
and just enter boom see now she's back in that wide stance that I don't want so that's basically all I did was added 10 to the right negative 10 to the left and it brings it in so any animation running through this is going to be corrected by these amounts okay so all I did was found the places where I needed to do that. I needed it there and then in the move states as well. Basically there's a whole chain here of events and I basically corrected her stance for all of these, the walk, the sprint, they're all corrected through these amounts. And this was the other one I showed you, the thigh, L and R rotation, which is the negative three and positive three. So anytime she's running, it's correcting those by this amount. Same thing. This is where you select actually which bone to control. So in your transform modify bone, um, this is where you will select the bone that you want to modify. Okay. So just remember that and you can control things like the scale of the bone translation and the rotation of the bone okay so that's basically all you do and you just want to place that you know, in any and that you can use this in any on any animation um, in any animation blueprint and achieve some really cool results and make your characters a little more unique from the stock animations that you may get in a program or software okay um, all settings is base, are basically based on how your skeleton is set up. Um, so, just to let you guys know, um, I am going to be putting out a lot more videos. Like I said, I won't be showing everything I know or, or it will take away from my originality if people just keep copying or copy what I do. Um, but I'll try to show y'all the basics of, of certain uh, knowledge that I can share with y'all. Um, knowledge that I feel is just general, more general. Um, I do appreciate y'all stopping by, man. Like, subscribe. I'll be seeing a, a lot more views and I'll be seeing subscribes. And man, look, this is what I do, y'all. So, man, help a brother out. You know what I'm saying? I'm in this 24-7, like literally. So, um... I'm doing this and learning this as I go and I'm trying to share as I go along so if y'all slide by here man man come on smack that like that subscribe man phew, get them updates when I be uh, dropping I'm gonna try to drop things way more frequently um, it's just hard because like I said it's just me working on a project and I'm bouncing all over the place and what I'm learning and man I'm excited and just all that so anyway that's how you do it and in the end you will get the result that I have here where your character's legs are not bowed out anymore and um, I'm gonna be like I said doing other tweaks and adjustments probably to the pelvis and other things maybe putting some constraints and other things and just seeing how it looks and how it works out for me um, and like I said I will do a video on the IK and all that as well um, it's just a lot of collision. You just have to adjust some collision situations and you'll be fine with that as well, okay? Um, as far as uh, the uh, uh, jumping and climbing and all that, I'm going to be doing more videos on that too. Um, everything, like I said, there's still a lot to do, especially figuring out the... Uh, um, sensing for the climbing and things like that so just uh, stay tuned with me I'll be bouncing back between this and my other uh, blueprint that I'm working on and these two blueprints will be merged together for this particular character the other character has a different set of abilities there will be other characters in the game there's gonna be multiple characters that you play with throughout the throughout this adventure so like I said man, that's a lot of work man I'm gonna probably be looking for people to help me out but at this stage of the game, I think I'm good with what I'm doing. One man, one mission. Amp Capo.